What's up, everybody? This is Alex with WMD back at you again. And this time we are going a little bit deeper into Volterra, diving into the Compose Scene feature. So the Compose Scene feature is something that you only get with Volterras. It is a way to program voltages and recall different uh, sets of voltages, kind of like presets, so you can recall things easily on the fly. This is great for doing chords. This is great for doing uh, parameters and also pretty cool for programming the architect if you have different uh, note masks or different setups that you like to recall. So what we're going to do is we are going to do just that. We are going to run through how to make chords, how to set up some parameters, and then we're going to uh, dive into the architect and just set up a couple different things on that. So. Right here, you can see I've got my Metron, my Volterra, and then next to it, I've got this Acid uh, acid Rain Technologies Chainsaw. The Chainsaw is a three oscillator oscillator, basically, and it has three volt per octave inputs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Volterra outs, and I'm going to run those into the volt per octave ins. So I'm going to go 1, 2, and 3 out of Volterra into 1, 2, and 3 on the chainsaw. I'm going to go through here and just make sure everything's cleared out for now. And uh, just so we can start from scratch. And there we go. And now I'm going to take the outputs of my chainsaw. And I'm just going to put these directly into the mixer. You can obviously uh, run these through a filter and a VCA, get some rhythmic stuff. But I'm just going to show you and use a Metron track, obviously, to uh, gate said envelope or um, whatever you're trying to use for your voice. But right now, I am just going to show us how to program the voltages. So you can see I've got my clock running here. Right now, we're just going to ignore the clock. But you do want a clock running while programming voltages. And so now we can hear the chainsaw. So the first thing you want to do when you are using Volterra is set up your outputs. So we want to make sure our voltage range and our quantizations are where we want them to be. So you go into global, turn the knob of the output you want to change, and you can see on the user scale here I've got a two octave range, and I've got a C minor scale programmed on output one. Turn channel two. Let's make sure I've got the same thing here on channel two. And then we'll go to channel three. And I've got the same thing programmed on all three channels. So let's uh, go out of there. Now we are in the main Compose view. This is the Compose mode. This is just where you will program your gates and things. And that is basically how we, that's our main view on Metron. So now if you have a Volterra connected and you are in the, vo the uh, Compose mode view, we can hit the Compose button. And see it lights up and then the word scene comes across the screen. This is to let us know that we are in compose scene mode right now. You can see the top. This is our track. So basically we have an extra track for scenes. And then the second row, these are our scenes. So these are basically our preset banks that we can pull from. We can change the pattern length of the scene track just by holding pattern length and hitting the last step on the um, on that track. We're going to stick with 16 because that's the easiest way for me to just show you how this is going. But this is a completely independent track of its own, which makes uh, this mode just that much more powerful. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to listen to the saw, the chainsaw. I'll just turn it down a little bit and we're going to set up different chords on our scenes. So right here, these, like I said, these are our scenes. So I'm just going to hold scene one and then I'm going to set up a C minor chord here. And then on my second one, I'm just going to set up a different chord. And now I can play this kind of like a keyboard. So 
So there we have it. We have our scenes programmed. Now we want to program them into our sequence. There's a couple ways we can do that. We can just go to the scene we want to, uh, we want to assign to a step and then hit the step that we want to assign to that scene. If it's blinking, the scene that we are viewing is the scene that's on that step. So I'm gonna go to scene number two, put that on beat two, go to scene three, put that on three, four on four. If we wanna clear out the scene track, all we have to do is hold clear and hit individual track button number one. And now we've cleared that out and we can just use our scenes again. Another way we can do, we can program the scenes onto steps is just hold the step that we want to program and hit the scene. This is a nice way to do it so that way you don't have to hear the scene before you program it on the step. A little bit more live performance friendly if you know uh, what you're going for in the live performance. All right, so we're gonna clear this out again. And now I'm gonna add a kick drum just to give myself some time reference. So I go out of compose scene mode, give myself that kick drum. I'm gonna go back into compose scene mode. And the last way to enter scenes onto the track is to record them. So we're in compose scene mode. I'm gonna hit record. That will enable our scene recording. And now I'm just gonna play these in like a keyboard. And now you can see that we've got those on there. So now that we've got those going, I'm just gonna run them, those chords through a filter real fast. And then I'm gonna hit those with an envelope. So I'm gonna take track number two out of Metron, run that into an envelope. The envelope and the filter are off screen, but I'm using an ADSR VCA and an overseer. So I'm just gonna take the envelope out, run that into the low pass input on the overseer. And now I'll just send it some gates. Adjust my envelope. And there we go. So this is a quick way to program chords, make progressions. Like I said, if you wanna make a longer track, you can do that. But right now we're just doing that for the 16 steps, just for demonstration's sake. All right, so that's chords. Let's move on to parameters. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna listen to a Camara. So I'm gonna take the output of the Camara and I'm gonna run that into my mixer. And the Camara is just right here, just a little bit off the frame and I'm gonna run channel or track one from Metron into the Camara and just hit it with some triggers, turn up the mixer and now we can hear it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to sequence some parameters on Camara. So I'm gonna take output number one and actually let's, let's pull this guy out so we can see it a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna take output one and I'm gonna run that into the pitch. And I'm gonna take output number two, run that into decay. And take output number three, run that into the envelope. And then we'll take output number four and we'll run that into surface. So we've got 16th notes running here. That's just so we can just hear it just going through it. And obviously we can change our parameters here. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make different scenes for Chimera and then we'll recall them. So I'm gonna go clear out all my scenes really fast. You can clear out the scenes that you have just by holding clear and hitting the scene buttons. And now we need to go up and set up, go to global and set up our outputs again. So now I'm gonna set up these outputs to just all be negative five to five volts unquantized. Go back into the compose scene mode, and now we can mess around here. So let's do like a low one. The next scene we'll do more of like a pretty aggressive one. And the next one we'll do a really short kind of hi hatty one. And then on the next one we'll just alternate that up a little bit.
All right, so what I've kind of set up is kind of like a, a kick-like sound, a snare-like sound, a hi-hat-like, and two different kind of hi-hat-like sounds. So I'm going to program those in that way. I'm going to use uh, beats one and three for my kick drum sound. I'm going to use two and four for my snare-like sound. And then I'm going to fill the other steps up with our different scenes here. And there we go. So this is really great for voices that have uh, a wide variety of timbres and just stuff you only want a couple, you want to be able to recall these voltages and not have to set them up every time. One thing that I have not mentioned yet is that voltages can be programmed at the same time as scenes. So we can go through here and we can record voltages. So I'll, I'll do that. I'm just going to take this knob and I'm going to record some voltages, right? One thing is that the scene voltages will always override the voltage sequences. So right now we're hearing this change on the brakes here. But we figure that's the best way to make it so that way every time you hold these buttons, the same thing happens. So again, scenes are king. Scenes always override voltages. If you have a track that's not a part of a scene, as in it was not, uh, it was not changed while you were programming that scene, that track will be completely free of the scene. So you can use three outputs for a scene and one output for a baseline if that's something you want to do. If you want to take one track out of a scene, you can just hold clear while we're in the compose knob and then do our turn gesture for that knob. We have now cleared uh, this guy from the scene that we are looking at. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is sequence architect. So this is kind of similar to the other ones, but I wanted to show it because it is a fun way to uh, just get some more cool stuff out of your Metron and Volterra combo, especially if you have an architect. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a voice. I've got uh, tracks 13 and 14 coming out of my Metron, running into my architect's uh, step and reset inputs got the gate up output going into an ADSR VCA. I'm going to take that envelope. I'm going to run that into a pole zero under the FM input. And then I'm going to just take my saw wave from my spectrum, run it through the pole zero into the ADSR VCA, and that output into a channel. So we'll just go into channel two for now. And now we can go into Metron channel 13, hit it with some steps and some resets. And there we go. Our slide input or our slide rhythm knob was all the way up, so we were just getting constant gates out of there. We aren't changing any outputs or uh, any pitches because I haven't uh, plugged that in yet. So I'm going to take Volt Proactive out of the Architect. And I'm going to run it into the spectrum as well as the full proactive in on the pole zero. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose the scale I like. There we go. And I'm going to turn notes all the way down on my architect. Slide, er, slide rhythms all the way to the left. Rhythm is all the way to the right. That means everything, every gate we put into architect is going to fire. And then every time we've got a gate going into the reset, it's going to stay on note number one on the architect, which right now is just the first octave. So now we're going to take our Volterra output number one, and we're just going to run this into the notes input. We're going to need a bunch of different stuff because we haven't cleared everything out yet. So I'm just going to go into compose scene, clear out my track, and make sure all my voltages my scenes are all cleared. I'm going to go back into the main mode and I'm just going to clear out all my Volteras. There we go. So now we are just in the normal architect sequence again. And what I'm going to do 
is go into Compose Scenes. And now we're just gonna set up different note combinations for our Protect to play. So I'm gonna hold Scene 1. There we go. So there's my first scene. Second one. Third one. And for this one, I'm gonna make this a four bar pattern. So I'm just gonna go to page four, hold pattern length, and hit the last step. We're still in compose scene mode. I'm only changing this track. So I'm gonna go to page one, and I'm gonna assign scene one to page one, scene two to the uh, step one on page two, and then we'll do scene three on step one of page three. We can see that ran through there. All right, so there you have it. Three fun ways to use Metron and Volterra's new Compose Scene mode. So I hope this inspires you to start making some tunes. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Peace.